Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about my nose piercing. So I'm talking about when I got my nose pierced, the pain level, the cleaning process, the healing process, and then I'm going to be inserting like clips and stuff of me getting my nose pierced. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So um, I got my nose pierced. July 6th and today is the 24th or no it's not 24th today's like the 27th or the 28th so it's been a while since I got my nose pierced it's almost done healing it takes a month to heal so it'll be done August 7th no August 6th and um the story of how I got my nose pierced it was like a regular store I just like up and did it one day but like I was planning on doing it I was supposed to get my nose pierced since prom because I wanted to like have a nose piercing but um I didn't get it for prom because I was I like realized I'm gonna put makeup on my face and I didn't want to like infect it or anything or get it dirty or nothing like that and I just got it pierced so I didn't do it um, for prom, graduation, I just didn't do it because I think I was, like, really busy and stuff. I didn't even have an outfit for graduation or nothing. Everything was last minute for graduation. Um, so, yeah, um, I was going to get it done July 4th, but, um, what happened? It was closed that day, so I didn't go. Like, no, I went, but it was closed. I didn't get it done. July 5th, um, I think I didn't leave the house or I, I went and it was closed. No, I didn't leave the house. And then July 6th, I was like over in that area, so I just went and got it done. It's not far from my house. It's like a few blocks from my house. So I just went and got it done. But before I went, I called the place to make sure that they was open. And then they just told me, um, like, they're open and the price for it and to bring a garden because I was underage. So, yeah. So, um, I went, I got it pierced. I signed like a little contract or whatever. And then, yeah, I just got it pierced. So, on to pain level. Okay, guys, I forgot to tell y'all. I got my nose pierced without my mom's permission. So, basically, um, she didn't want me to get my nose pierced until I was 18. But I wanted to get my nose pierced since I turned 17. She just said no, so I just never bought it up. But, like, around prom time, I wanted it pierced. And she was like, just wait till you turn 18, wait till you turn 18. But I didn't want to wait that long. And I didn't get it on prom, like I said, because of makeup or whatever. And then um, I was like, dad, I want my nose pierced. And he was like, okay, call the place and ask them. So I got my nose pierced with my dad. And then I came home and um, I came home to get something. I think I got... I think I got clothes because I was going back to my dad's house. And um, I thought she seen it. Like, I was, like, me and her was, like, face to face. And I thought she seen it, but she didn't see it. My stepdad seen it, and he was like, oh, we're in trouble. But um, I didn't get in trouble. She didn't see it. And then I went back to my dad's house, and I came home, like, the next two days. And she was like, you got your nose pierced? I was like, yeah. I was like, I thought you seen it. And she was like, no, let me see it. And then I showed it to her. She was like, okay. And she was just quiet about it. Like, she didn't say anything. Like, when I got my double hole, I was supposed to get one hole, apparently. But I thought she told me it was okay to get two. So, I got two holes. And she was mad about that. But I paid for it. So, um, when I got my nose piercing, my dad paid for it. And she was just like, oh, okay. She didn't say anything about it. Like, she was mad. But, like, she got over it like, in, within, like, the next two days. So, yeah. I just got that done behind her back. And... I thought she was going to be, like, even more mad, like, tell me to take it out or whatever. She was just telling me, like, before I got a pierced, she was like, do not get a pierced. Like, I'm not letting you get a pierced. But I thought she was going to, like, exaggerate and, like, you know, be really mad. But she wasn't as mad as I expected. So the pain level of me getting my nose piercing from, like, a 1 to 10, it was, like, a one and a half, two. It didn't really hurt. It was just uncomfortable, like... In the video, my face looked like I was in pain, but it was just uncomfortable because um, I felt it going through the cartilage. So it was like really, I don't know, it felt weird. So, and then he had to leave it there. So, and then my eye was tearing too. So he left it there and I was just like, oh God, like I thought the thing was going to stick my lip. But um, he put something on it to stop it. And then it was just sitting in my nose and I couldn't move my nose because I would have felt it like that like I couldn't do none of that because I would have felt it in my nose and it was just 
really uncomfortable but then after like he pulled it out or whatever um and he put the actual piercing the actual ring in it didn't hurt when i was leaving it was throbbing like i just felt it pulsing and all that stuff that was pretty much it um yeah it didn't hurt me like some people say it hurts it didn't hurt me i didn't get the gun i got the um needle actually because i got the gun for my ear but my ear took forever to heal and it got like um the cartilage bump on it so i have to um like treat it and get the bump to go down so that's pretty much all for pain level now let's just get on to the cleaning process okay so the cleaning process is really simple and easy um when i went there i got this and i think i paid ten dollars or five dollars for this bottle and um it's just the dr pierce antibacterial um body piercing cleanser it's hygienic care for new body piercing anti-irritation formula so that's just what this is and this says the directions on here is to um, basically continue wearing your piercing jewelry during the healing period cleanse your hands before touching the newly pierced area um using a cotton swab cleanse your piercing twice a day um, so that's basically what I do so I didn't clean it for today so well I cleaned it in the morning I didn't clean it the second time and then I clean I clean it like in the morning when I come home from work and then when I go to bed that's why I look so rough because I just got from work but anyways I look bad so I just take it and I just drop some on Ooh, it's dripping. and then I just go around the piercing And sometimes if I can't get it, I'll lift it up and go around. And then um, put some on the opposite side. You guys can't even see. The light is kind of bright. I think I should lower the light in. And I'll go under. And then that's my cleaning process. So it's really simple and easy and quick. Uh, you could do it like right before you walk out the door or whatever. And my piercing doesn't hurt anymore. It was like sore for like the next, like the day after. And then after that, it didn't hurt. But yeah, before, like when I first got a pierce, I couldn't touch it. Now I could touch it. I could do all of this. I could lift it up. I could kind of pull it out, but not all the way. I don't want to pull it out because um, the man told me um, if I'm changing it when it's done healing and I go to change it, I have to put it like in immediately because it will close up quick. So that's the um, only reason why I don't take it out. And I don't want to take it out. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all for the cleaning process. So the last video I think I made was um, dye my hair or a hair review. And after that, I didn't um, record any more videos. That was... Um, like the ending of April, beginning of May, and you could tell because like my hair is no longer this color. It was originally this color, but now it's um like brown, and my roots are black. And the only reason why I haven't dyed it is because for my birthday, I want my hair a certain way, and I want it to be black. So I didn't want my roots to be you know this color, and my hair be black. So that's the only reason why I didn't dye it. But anyways, um. Yeah, I went to prom, I went to graduation, so um, if you guys want videos on that, I'll sh definitely post them. I didn't vlog or anything, because really stressed with like school and um, you know, prom and graduation, getting everything together, everything situated. I didn't even have like an outfit for graduation, that was like last minute. So um, yeah, but if you guys want to see videos on that, definitely let me know down below, and I'll like get my clips and stuff together <laughs> but um yeah so i went to prom i went to graduation my hair is no longer this color and yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much all that happened um while i was gone all my videos before this one was pre-recorded i made them in the beginning of the year i just didn't post them until just now because i was trying to get like a lot of videos recorded before i posted but i like took a break so i'm back now um so i think that's pretty much it i'm just gonna insert some clips of me getting my nose pierced and all that other stuff but yeah if you guys want um videos of prom and graduation just comment down below 
Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to tune in for my next videos and my previous videos. See ya. You wanna on here or like on the top? Mm -hmm. So you have to print this three four times, okay? okay.